Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm. I wanted to really quickly show you how to create your own teacher website. Um, it's honestly, it'll take you five minutes to build and you know, probably another 10 minutes to customize and make whatever you want. Um, but uh, some of you have been asking and it's a, it's a good thing for us to be able to communicate with parents uh, and, and um, uh, stay up to date with them, put a bunch of information on it. We can put a, uh, put a link to it on the UMA webpage. Um, and, and if you're thinking, I can't make a website, I'm not a computer person, uh, you're wrong, actually, because it's really, really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to sites.google.com. Um, Google Sites is... Uh, it's 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 a really easy website building tool. Um, you're going to sign in with your UMA Google account. Uh, I'm already signed in here. Um, and you'll have a, a menu that looks kind of like this. Yours will look different if you have never built a web page before. Um, using Google Sites, mine, I have a bunch on here. Uh, but you can go to new Google Sites. That's what I'm going to show you. I have tutorials on... Um, the older version of Google Sites. I'm going to show you the new Google Sites because that's what I'm building my new web page in uh, and I want you to see what that looks like. So I'm going to click new Google Sites and that will take me to this menu um, where you can you can go in and you can make uh, your own personal website. Uh, so down here there's this big red plus. You're going to click the plus and it will open up this tool here. So this is what we call a uh, what you see is what you get editor. Basically, uh, you don't have to do any coding whatsoever. You can if you want. If you know a little bit of HTML or CSS, you can do that. Um, but it's it, this is really just drag things in, drop them in. Uh, and what you see on the website when you're done is what the website will look like. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to title your site. I'm going to call mine Mr. Storm. It's pretty easy stuff. And I'll put my title up there. Uh, this is your header, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this is your header for your website. Uh, you can change your image, which you can select a new image. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm going to see if I have any images on Google Drive that I want to use. I'll use that one. My class is built last year for a uh, for the memorial, and it takes a minute to load. Um, yeah, that's good, I guess. I don't know. I'll probably change it later, but it's really that easy. You just you, you grab whatever you want. There there are a bunch of default images that you can use. Um, Okay. Now I don't really like the way that this looks now, so I'm going to go over to themes and I'm going to find a better theme. I'm going to find a theme that I think looks really, really great. Um, maybe impression. That looks kind of good. Diplomat. Mm, symbol. Aristotle. Vision. Let's do impression. I like impression. And we'll keep it that. Um, let's do font style. I want to change it to maybe a sans or maybe a serif font. Now nah, I'll go back to the sans serif font. That looks good. Okay. I'll probably play around with that and make it look a little better. Probably pick a different picture next time. Things like that. Uh, you can add an, a logo up here. Um, so I'm going to add a Utah Military Academy logo, which I actually have one in here. I'll add that up there so that it's obvious that we're from UMA. Uh, should we do... Oh and, oh, and the cool thing is, too, whenever you bring in a logo, it'll take your main lo main colors and it'll ask you if you want to change that to your new color scheme. I'm going to do it. The, I'm going to go the blue. All right. And then, yeah, again, I'll probably change that background. Okay. So now I have my header, header stuff all up and running. Now I can go to insert new stuff. Um, I'm going to insert a text box. So I'll put that in here. And in here I can put my, um, my bio, which my bio is already on 
utahmilitaryacademy.com. I'll go in there and just copy and paste it because I'm a cheater. And uh, let me just quickly do that. Where am I? There we go. Grab my biography. And while I'm here, I can um, I can grab my picture as well because I want to put it there. So I'm going to save image as, and I'll find I'll put it on my desktop. That works. And right here, I want to insert an image, um, and I want to not by URL, not search, not by albums. I guess I'll have to put my picture on Google Drive first, which is fine. That's pretty easy to do, and I'm going to want it for later anyway. So I'll go to my Google Drive, and let's see. I'll go into my stuff, and then I will drop my picture in there. Oh, that went over to my other screen. Just go there. All right. So I'll just drag and drop that in so that quickly uploads. Okay, it's there. Good. Go back to my site and do another image. And now I can find it in my stuff. So it'll be in there somewhere. There it is. Select. So now that put it underneath. I actually want it next to my bio, like that. I'll make it a little bigger so it's the same, oh, same size as my bio. Okay, perfect. So now I have my picture, I have my biography. Um, right down below here, I'm actually going to put a video. Put a video that uh, my students made for me one year. Uh, let's go. Actually, let me find that video. Go to go to where's my channel come on oh, I want to go to my channel where's my channel see they they, just, they move things around so much fine I'll get to it through this sorry sometimes it takes forever to do anything oh there we go they put it in that little menu up there now um, all right so here's my YouTube channel. Let me find that video that I want to put in here. It doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll, I'll just grab a video. How about that? But if I can find mine, that would be even better. Um, sure, we'll just grab this one. Why not? So I will go back and just copy the URL for whatever YouTube video you want. go put that right below and you can you can move these items around wherever you want you can stretch them to make them bigger you can do all kinds of cool stuff all kinds of cool stuff so um, let's see so that's about right cool and then you know you can just keep adding things to it you can add a Google Calendar so if you have a Google Classroom your Google Calendars actually match up with what classrooms you have. So if I want to add a Google Calendar for my uh, my computer technology class, which is right down, I have too many of them. Too many of them. Let's go. Not a day. Let's just do. We'll do my computer, let's do desktop publishing, right? And we'll insert that. And it'll add a calendar for that class, which I'm gonna stretch out, make it the whole, roughly the whole length or width of the page. And I can actually change it to, well, whenever they're, let's go into settings. I can actually change the view mode to month if I want it like that, which is my preference 
preferred way of looking at it. Um, but you know, I can make the calendar whatever I want it to be. Um, but really, it's that easy. Uh, you can do you can do all this. One thing I also want to do is I'm going to make a page for every different class that I teach. So create a new page. It'll bring me to my computer technology page, and then I can just start adding stuff to this to this page now. Uh, I can add my syllabus as an embedded document so that parents can scroll through it. I can add calendars to this specifically. I can add a schedule and all that stuff. So, um, and then on my main page, I can add a link to my, um, to my other page. So when I go back to my home, so I want to have a link to my computer technology, I can do, uh, oh, actually, it already pops in a navigation up here, which is great. And I can change all that. I mean, it's really whatever you want to do. Um, the last thing I want to show you really quickly, because that's enough, you guys can do all, all the things you want to do at this point. Um, at this point, I want to show you how to um, how to publish your site. Um, oh, let's go ahead and preview so we can see what the website will look like. So now when viewers, are, when viewers go to my website, they'll be able to see it. Oh, let's go back. They'll be able to, this is what it will look like. Right. So when they come to my website, they'll see my header, they'll see my links to my other pages, there's my bio, there's the video, and there's the calendar, which I can, I can change. Again, I can change all of this stuff. Right. Um, I can go to my computer technology page, and it brings me to that page, which there's nothing on it, if you can remember that. Um, and we can go back to my Mr. Storm page. Um, pretty easy stuff. Pretty easy stuff, and I can see what it looks like on a tablet or on a smartphone. Uh, the reason why I like using the new Google Sites is because it automatically sets up your website so it looks good on a smartphone. So parents who check your website using their smartphone, it'll actually look good. Uh, the calendar is a little bit wonky, but uh, we can play around with that and make it better. Uh, but when you're done, when you're satisfied with what it looks like, you want to hit Publish. And it's going to ask you the name of your site. Uh, I'm just going to call mine Mr. Storm. And it'll check to see if I don't have a Mr. Storm yet, so that's good. And I want anyone on the web, okay? So here's the reason why I don't want to do just UMA, uh, utahmilitaryacademy.org. What this means is that if anyone tries to click on my website and um, they're not a part of our domain, they don't have a UMA email address, they won't be able to get to the web page. So I want to do anyone on the web so that parents can get to my website. Um, and I'm going to leave it open so that search engines will find my site. So if parents start Googling me, um, you know, Mr. Storm, UMA, they'll find my web website. So I'm going to click publish and that will publish my website. It is now live. Um, well, once it publishes. The other thing that I want to, to mention is that you want to make sure you set your share permissions for any like Google Docs or anything that you have embedded on your web page. Um, so, for example, let's let's go here. Um, so, let's say I wanted to uh, I don't know I wanted to share this video or eh, let's not do a video. Let's do. Um, so let's say I wanted to share, this is, you know, my book or whatever, right? Let's say I wanted to share this live uh, online, um, and I wanted to make sure that everyone can see it. Over here in Google Docs, um, you'll have this blue share button. When you click that, you want to make sure, and this is only for documents you want to share on your web page for anyone to be able to see, right? When you go to advanced, you can see, uh, you can change who gets to see it. If you do on, public on the web, then that basically means anyone on the, on the internet will be able to see that document. So if you post disclosures or calendars on your website, parents won't be able to see them until you share them properly, until you set the share permission. So please remember to do that. One way to test whether you've done that correctly is sign out of your Google account and then go to your web page, go to your published web page. And if you can't see the documents on there, then you haven't, you haven't set up your share permissions. So I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to share that. And I'll just click done. All right. So let me go back to, all right. So now it is published. 
and I can view my published site from here. And so that's what my website looks like now. Um, again, I'm going to make some tweaks to it and make some changes and make it look a little better. But that's pretty much it. That's easy. I mean, this is a little over 15 minutes because I tend to be a little long-winded. But honestly, you could you could uh, do this in like five minutes if you if you really wanted to, and if you had everything together before. Um, but please ask me any questions you have. Uh, let me know if you need any help. And um, uh, yeah, that's a quick and easy way for all of us to have websites to communicate with parents. And when you're when you're done, when you publish your website, send your link to um, to uh, uh, Miss Jordan in the office, and she can uh, attach your link to the web website for, to the UMA website. So when parents click on your website link, they'll go right to your website. All right. Uh, again, please let me know if you have any questions, and I'm more than happy to help anyone who needs it. Thank you very much for watching.